know what time it is, Vinyl Community. You know what time it is, YouTube. It's Cosmic Vinyl Time. Ha ha! Pow, 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 pow! Lizzie Borden! Final community, you stink bombs. I love ya. I love ya. What's going on, man? Yeah, I'm shooting another video two days in a row. Maybe not two days in a row. I don't remember if it was yesterday or the day before, but this is not a vinyl find. This is a contest. Get, I'm, I'm getting in. On, I'm just crawling. I'm, 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 I'm creeping. I'm ever so sneakily stealthily crawling in under the wire on the deadline on this one. Alright. This contest is for the Goose Goose 69. Woo! Love it! I love the Goose. Goose is a metal is a metal head. I love it. I love getting in these contests. Uh, I think he's... God, I want to say it's... Is it Brazil? Please, God, let it be Brazil, because I forgot. <laughs> anyway, um, he's not from here. But you know what? He speaks pretty damn good English for not from being around this neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? The cosmic realm is open to all languages, races, uh creatures aliens we're open to the whole we're open to any kind of living being we're even open to the plasma the plas down to the little atoms we're open to the the little amoebas are welcome in the cosmic realm all right enough of the nonsense it's a contest i believe he's uh celebrating 200 subs and so I'm here in support of him. He's always, he, out of like all the cosmonauts, you cosmonauts out there, the goose is in my comment section every single time, as are many of you. But, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you. But anyway, the goose, I'm gonna, I'm here to support the goose in his, uh, you know, his subs, his channel. I mean, we're all, we're all tight in the VC, you know what I'm saying? You hearing me over there? Don't you look at me like that. Anyway, let's get on with it. Three questions, but ten albums. So that's pretty fun. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. You stupid son of a bitch, you so goddamn loud back there. Hey, did you guys see my new lava? Uh... Little green and blue lava I got here. Ah! Oh God, it bit me. It's like a jelly jellyfish. Anyway, uh, look how cool that is. I'm gonna drink it later. <laughs> no, I'm not. All right, let's get on with this. First question: You have to show two cover songs. You have to show the cover song, the album with the cover song on it. And then you're supposed to show the album, um, the OG, where the cover came from, the original artiste, artiste who uh, performed the song first. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be cool. You know what? I'm gonna turn this fan off because it's too cold. Can you believe I'm saying that? Lately, it's been hotter than blazes up here in the realm, but today, eh, not so much. All right. So, cover song number one. This is a good one. I tried to find some stuff that I thought nobody else would show. So, um, the cover song is by, um, I'll show the cover first. Uh, this is an album by a band called The Standell. It's kind of a 60s uh, garage type band. Um, the song on, and the album is called Sometimes Good Guys Don't Wear White, Why Pick On Me. And um, the song that they do on here is called Paint It Black. 
which is the second track on the opening side. And um, it is a cover, uh, covered by the original band, the Rolling Stones. Now I know that this this is probably a comp here that that uh, not the original that had painted black on it, or maybe it is. I don't fucking know. But anyway, I'm showing the Rolling Stones here. Uh, album is Aftermath. Am I on fire? Am I on freaking fire here? Cause I'm smoking. Anyway, um, for opening track side one, paint it black. Look at that Stone Age. I love the Stones, man. This is a freaking great album too. Got this as VCLT from my good buddy and down in St. Louis area, uh, Dan from Dan's Vinyl Channel, Brutus. How you doing out there, Brutus? Feel the power, Brutus. All right. Uh, so the cover was Standell's doing the Stones painted black. And you were supposed to show two of them. So um, the second one is by a group um, that really didn't get a chance to get their career. Like, I mean, they had some momentum, but tragedy struck. And um, uh, their uh, drummer, Razzle, was killed in a car accident with Vince Neil driving so we won't talk about that but this is Hanoi Rocks um, two steps from the move and they cover um, a song called up around the bend opening track was the hit off of this album god these guys are great I love I would love to get some more Hanoi Rocks for sure um, but yeah they cover a song by Creedence Clearwater Revival off of their Cosmos Factory album. Yeah, they're in the middle of a snowstorm there, if you can't tell on the cover. Didn't know that was snow, snowed inside where they're at. Yeah, this is this cover's seen better days, but it, it came with a collection, and actually the, uh, the vinyl within is just fine and dandy. So, you know all you perfectionists out there, you just don't worry about it, okay? You just go ahead, rest easy. This isn't your album, it's mine. Sure, it's a little worn. You might not, oh, what am I doing? Shut up. But anyway, um, they uh, did the song first, Up Around the Bend was the opening track on uh, side two of this. This is a great record, by the way. Uh, Cosmos Factory by CCR, Creedence Clearwater. So those are my two uh, cover songs. Okay, so number two is show an album from three different projects uh, with the same drummer. So you pick a drummer and show albums from three different uh, projects that he was involved in. I went to the old stalwart that I have always go to on this question. I've seen this question before in a tag or, or some kind of thing. And the one that always comes to my mind, he's probably one of the hardest working drummers in the business, or he was, he's been involved, he's spanning decades. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show three different decades here. Um, this is uh, Carmine Apice. Carmine Apice was the drummer for Vanilla Fudge uh, back in the 60s. This was the first psychedelic album I ever owned, by the way. Love it! Um, it's got a cover of another cover actually of a song you keep me hanging on this is gonna be a weird I'm gonna actually do a cover on this too but um, look at uh, Carmine as a young man right there no facial hair or anything he's usually got dark hair curly hair and uh, mustache but yeah that's Carmine Apice he was the drummer for Vanilla Fudge back then uh, this is a great album still pick this up pretty cheap by the way so uh, King Carmine was on that album and now we're gonna jump ahead to the 70s um, I believe it was the 70s yeah 77 uh, an album by a band uh, a, uh, artist known as Rod Stewart this album has super sentimental value to me by the way I love this record so so much Anyway, the drummer for Rod Stewart's band uh, during this time was the one and only Carmine Apice. And in fact, um, 
rod covers you keep me hanging on on this record it's the opening track on side two so yeah not quite as psychedelic of course he does more of like a kind of a love song type thing but yeah i love this record a lot hot legs is on this uh you're in my heart um you can probably pick this one up pretty cheap yet too probably my favorite rod stewart album of all time but yeah Carmine Apice was the drummer uh, for Rod Stewart's band on this. And now we're going to jump ahead to the 80s. Oh, I don't even have my mind shields on. What am I doing? I must be freaking crazy. Hold on, be right back. Don't worry, I'm not taking off. I've just got to grab something real quick. Where'd it go? I lost my beer. I lost my beer! Oh well. Um, this one is uh, Carmine in the 80s. He was in the hair band. He somehow find, found his way into a hair band. Um, the hair band is called King Cobra. I'll take it out of the shrink. I know it'll be all kinds of glare if I don't. So, Anyway, this is King Cobra. Uh, I believe this is their debut album. Ready to strike! A snake. I'm a little snake. I'm a silly little snake. Anyway, uh, you can tell King Carmine pretty easy on the back here as all the guys are bleached blonde except King Carmine. He is uh, in the black hair there. Got to see these guys open up for Kiss, I believe on their Asylum tour. I know it was a non-makeup era Kiss. And, uh, yeah, me and my buddy were right up front, so we got to see these guys uh, and Kiss right up front. Um, nice nice rocking album here, too, by the way. Uh, killer stuff. Um, there's another black and white of the band right there. I'll show you that. So there's three projects from uh, Carmine Apice. Um, uh, Vanilla Fudge. Uh, Rod Stewart Band and uh, King Cobra. So now moving on to the third question. Show three of your favorite albums um, with an unnatural uh, creature or mythical creature on the artwork. So, um, gosh, you know what? There's so many good ones out there, and I do have you know a couple of a few good ones in my collection. So. Um, and I wanted to grab something that I didn't think anybody else would show. So I'm going to start off with um, this 60s uh, psychedelic uh, album right here. Uh, by It's called St. Stephen. And um, yeah, this is not an original, by the way. This is a... Uh, but it's kind of a rare um, reissue. I challenge you to find this. Uh, for you'll pay up for it. I definitely, I guarantee you. I uh, got this at a um, uh, got this at a record show a couple years ago, and it's it's pretty damn good. But on the cover is what I believe to be some sort of leviathan or some sort of sea creature, maybe even a kraken. Um, I'll give you another closer look here. I can't see, so I'm hoping that maybe you guys can see that. It's kind of black and white there. The head is like right there. It's almost like some sort of sea snake dragon thing. And, um, and when you open it up, um, you get more of the same kind of an ocean uh, view. The waves crashing over the Leviathan and... Um, as it looks to be ready to destroy a ship or something. But yeah, this is St. Stephen. Wow, this is a killer, wild, uh, you know, psychedelic uh, record here, St. Stephen. And then for the next um, Creech is, um, you guys might be familiar with this one. Here, uh, here he is in, his, in its natural habitat. This is one known as a Twisted Sister, a.k.a. Um, Captain Howdy and Drag. Um, this creature you uh, is kind of a rare sighting these days. 
as I believe he has uh, retired into the into his lair. But there he is, uh, enjoying a nice meal of carnage there. So yeah, uh, the twisted uh, sister, aka also known as the Captain Howdy and Drag. Just kidding. That's D. Snyder. I'm just fooling. But here's ba Demon Baby. <laughs> Give me a. I want a nurse. I want a. I want a bloody boob. What? Shut up, you sadist. Anyway, uh, Born Again by Black Sabbath. Um, I, a lot of people shit on this record, man. I love this record. Um, it's uh, with yet one of their revolving door singers for a while. This was Ian Gillen uh, from Deep Purple singing with Black Sabbath. And a lot of people think that this go should belongs in the garbage. I heard somebody out there, and you know who you are. I heard him say that they should throw this album away where it belongs in the garbage. But uh, you know who you are. But anyway. Uh, this is uh, a good album, by the way. I love it. Anyway, Demon Baby. Ah! And uh, the third mythical beast is on. Um, I could have picked one of. I could have picked a couple of um, albums by this fella. He seems to be drawn towards the dragon. Um, but yeah, this is Dio, uh, Sacred Heart. And uh, that creature right there in the crystal ball is a dragon. Everybody loves a good dragon, right? Um, I could have picked um, Intermission, which also has, um, actually has uh, Dio slaying a dragon on, on the cover, which he did um, in concert. But yeah, uh, Dragon is my third mythical beast. So I believe that's all the questions. So the goose, um, I'm here to support your channel, bro. And congratulations on all your subs, man. You deserve a lot, a lot of more, man. And as I'm watching um, more and more of your videos, in fact, I watched your tag today, uh, your uh, douche tag, the douche. I just love saying the word douche. I love, I just wish the douche would just soak me in doucheness. Anyway, I didn't mean that's weird. But anyway, um, Goose, I did see uh, that video. I'm kind of getting to know you more as I uh, binge watch all your videos. So, hey, peace, brother. Um, peace to you, Vinyl Community. And YouTube. Yeah, that's it. Love you guys, man. Have a great night. Go pick up some chicks.